to Business Casual. I'm your host, Nav Nanwa. At the end of April, it's officially the Brit Brampton Board of Trades Business Excellence Awards. And joining me to talk about these awards in greater detail, I have the Brampton Board of Trades CEO, Todd Letts, as well as the recipient of the Business Person of the Year Award, Heather Picken. Thank you both for joining me here on Business Casual to talk about this wonderful event. Heather, big congratulations on your uh, on your award being recognized as Business Person of the Year. Thank you very much, Nav. Yeah, it's a pleasure to have you both on. And you know, before we jump into the festivities, as well as Heather, just more on your background, Todd, give give us an update as to how things are going when it comes to planning and preparing for the Business Excellence Awards. Well, this is a very exciting time for us, uh, Nav. Uh, one time in the year, we all get together and celebrate and recognize some great achievements by not only uh, individuals in our business community but uh, uh, teams uh, in companies. We celebrate uh, oh, leadership, teamwork, and uh, it's going to be a fantastic celebration on, uh, on, on April 28th. Mm -hmm. uh, we're looking forward to it. Yeah, and I, I, like we talked about during, during the, the beginning of the show, um, I had the opportunity of attending last year's event, and it was the first time the Branton Board of Trade uh, uh, held the Business Excellence Awards because previously the partner up with the Economic Development Office, and I thought it was phenomenal. I thought it was a great event. It was a great networking opportunity to meet a lot of some of the local leaders that are that you know are uh, pretty much running the business world within the city of Brampton but as well as you know meeting some of the some of the dignitaries and some of the honorees as well such as this year uh, with Heather yeah, I mean, we're really fortunate to have someone like Heather in uh, Brampton. Not only she's very successful uh, professionally uh, in uh, real estate to development, mm -hmm. but also gives back to our community in the areas of, of education uh, through through Sheridan, uh, Osler, uh, in, in healthcare, and uh, we're really uh, uh, happy to honor her uh, this year. I've got a chance to get to know her through her team of people and they mm. all speak very highly of her as well Excellent. and her, her, her mentoring capabilities. <laughs> so. Wow. We're putting you in the hot seat. I'm sorry. For those yeah. people who work in my office, they're getting raises. Uh, <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> no, that's great. You know, but I got to ask you, Heather, how, what, what is it, like, how does it feel to be honored as the business person of the year this year? Because it is a very prestigious award that's given oh. out in the city of Brampton. Oh, absolutely. I, I mean, I'm, I'm extremely honored. I'm humbled especially to be recognized by my peers and the Board of Trade. That was really the first community organization that I got involved with when mm -hmm. I was a young lawyer starting out. So it's a little full circle and I really very much appreciate it. Mm -hmm. It also, you know, it recognizes my firm and all of the lawyers and partners and staff that have helped me to achieve what I've done. Couldn't Excellent. do it without them. Mm -hmm. And I really also especially like that this brings a focus and shines a light on all the community organizations that I've been involved with. Mm -hmm. So I really like that part of it. The Business Excellence Awards presented by the Brampton Board of Trade is taking place on April 28th at the Pearson Convention Center. Uh, we just spoke with the recipient of the Business Person of the Year, that's uh, Miss Heather Picken, who will be honored at the festivities. But join me to talk with the awards in more detail. I have uh, the Brampton Board of Trade CEO, Todd Letts. Todd, thank you so much for joining us here on Business Casual. Thank you, Neff. Yeah. You know, you were on the inaugural episode, and yeah. I remember when we I had you and Badar on, and we were talking about the year, or we were talking about the beginning of 2016, because, yes. you know, the exciting year that the uh, the Bebop was going to have, and now that we're deep into the year, um, how, how has it been going so far? You know, it's been a spectacular uh, first uh, few months. Mm. Uh, our events have been uh, setting records in terms of attendance. Excellent. Our advocacy has been really, really strong. Uh, of course, we've had a provincial budget, a federal budget. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we were even very active in the municipal budget yes. uh, as well so uh, just spent a, a day with Badar our, yes. our chairperson at Queens Park yes. talking to a number of different ministries about the importance of Brampton mm -hmm. importance of uh, its infrastructure and uh, also something that's a little less sexy but still very important to mm -hmm. business is reducing some of the red tape yes. so uh, uh, if the easier we can make it for business to concentrate on their customers the more jobs we can create in our community so we've been very active on the advocacy side as mm -hmm. well as on the uh, the network side too. You know, and that's the that's the side I think a lot of individuals are probably not familiar with with the Brampton Board of yeah. Trade is that the they are advocates. They are advocates for the Brampton business community and that's something I saw firsthand uh, last year during the LRT debate that was taking place yes. uh, up in City Hall. 
uh, you know, the, Bran the Branton Board of Trade really took a stand and really made their voice heard. And, you know, you know, I've been following you guys on social media. I know Badar is very active on social media. And yes. I, I've been seeing all the meetings that, that you've been taking place with, you know, MPs and MPPs and, and at Queens Park. Um, how important is it to play that advocate role and to really represent the business community? Yeah, I mean, the business community plays such an important role. If we take a look at the leading communities across North America, mm -hmm. one thing's in common. They're going to have a very strong business community as well. Mm -hmm. And that just doesn't happen naturally. It takes organizations like Chambers of Commerce and Boards of Trade to um, put together programs where businesses can meet one another, where businesses can learn from one yeah. another, but most importantly, that they can be heard mm -hmm. as well. Because, uh, you know, politics is politics, and sometimes uh, those that enter politics don't have an appreciation for um, the risk-taking yes. that's involved exactly. uh, in, in, in having a successful uh, business. Mm -hmm. And, you know, thank you for, for recognizing it. We certainly have been uh, getting a lot more businesses involved in the Board of Trade because of our advocacy. We're, we're, we're the fastest growing community in, in Canada. It's mm -hmm. like 12.5% growth in the last four years, 2010 to 2014. And it's so important that our infrastructure keeps up, both the municipal infrastructure, water and pipes, but also transportation infrastructure. Yes. Uh, and uh, and like I say, we uh, have been very active helping, business, uh, helping government to understand how they can uh, make it easier for business to create more jobs and, uh, and, and balance the mm -hmm. job growth with the population growth that exactly. we're seeing here in Brampton. Have you ever experienced career burnout? That's a question that comes up a lot when individuals are having conversations around their careers and really assessing where they want to go in the future. And that's what we want to talk about here on Business Casual. And join me to talk about this in greater detail. I have uh, what I would say sort of a career specialist, but now you're now in the banking industry. Uh, my good friend Carla Antidormi, as well as past chair of the Brampton Board of Trade, the all-around renaissance man, <laughs> J. Paul Matthews Sig. I've been told to call you that. Yes, I, I have I have people who work for me who okay, uh, came. Okay. It, was an, it was a rider in the uh, contract for today. Uh, I I, I'm guessing, yeah. You <laughs> no know green M&Ms either. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll get into that later. But I got to ask you, I'm just going to put it out there just to start it off because I would love to get both your perspectives on this is have you ever experienced career burnout and why and Carla will begin with you. Yes. Okay. Yes, absolutely. So uh, my, my first and only career burnout so far would be, <laughs> so far. yeah, uh, the very beginning of my career. So about seven years into the role, um, jumped into something right after undergrad okay. and I didn't have a chance to really figure out what I wanted to do. Mm. And I think that's sort of the root of it. So. I got to the point where I wasn't really happy, and once I figured out why and yeah. I was able to articulate it, that made a huge difference. But I think, uh, yeah, not knowing why is really what got me into the career burnout. Wow, that's very, that's very interesting, especially coming from uh, from school and jumping into a job when you're just eagerly excited. Oh yeah, someone it's, wants you, and you're like, yeah, yes, yes, yeah. I get to make money, I yeah. get to be a grown up. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. So you say yes, and you don't really figure out the rest. Of the wow, time. wow, it's fascinating. Jay Paul, have you, the all-around renaissance man, sure. have you ever experienced career burnout in your many careers? It, I, I have <laughs> more than once, absolutely, okay. and similar to what Carla was talking about. You know, you you uh, sometimes you take on uh, jobs that you weren't ready for, yeah. or you know, the opportunity is just seems like one that you can't turn down. And in my case, it's uh, more than once it's happened where I took on promotions or the opportunity to take on more responsibility without fully understanding that that's not what I wanted. Mm -hmm. But the, you know, when you're, when you're young and you're working hard at something and you want to be good and you want to be recognized, you know, the, the opportunity to move forward in an organization, sometimes you don't really consider, is that the right job for me? Do I, or am I happy doing what I'm doing? Yeah. The pat on the back is sometimes enough to get you out of your comfort zone into a place where all of a sudden you're working hard at something that you're not really a good fit for and mm -hmm. suddenly you're experiencing, yeah. you know, what we would call burnout, absolutely. I, I mean, turning down a promotion. People think you're crazy if you say no, right? Absolutely. I mean, to this day, I still would, you know, think twice about some of the, you know, turning it down. But you, it's a hard decision to make. But sometimes it's the right one, nonetheless. You know.